Happy New Year everyone, it's Aislinn here. So, still fighting with video editing software, so I will not be able to show pictures of where projects were last left off, um, but I thought, New Year, let's do a whip parade and talk about what my goals and plans are for 2022, which I cannot believe that is tomorrow. Like, oh my gosh. Anyway, um, my plans are actually, I'm just going to get them out of the way, really simple. Um, I bit off way more than I could chew last year, and I found stitching got very stressful. Uh, it made me not want to stitch. Um, I was trying to do like the 21,000 and, you know, 2021 on cross uh, or full coverage fanatics on Facebook. I was also doing like a trip around Iceland uh, thing um, through full coverage fanatics. And I just found for me, challenges in stitching, that, that's not a good combination. I stitch for fun, I stitch to de-stress, and setting those kinds of goals for myself to get certain amount of stitching in, is just it's just not gonna work. It, it makes me not wanna stitch on anything. Um, so basically, I have decided that I'm going to do a monthly focus piece, and then, if I pick up other pieces that I enjoy, you know, or feel like I want to stitch on, I will. But the majority of the stitching time I'm putting aside for myself is going to be focused on one whip for one month. Um, and most of the whips, I haven't decided what order yet I'm going to put them in, um, except for I've got like January and October figured out. Um, so yeah. That's just, for me and my stitching, that is just what's going to work the best. It's what's going to get the most progress done. I'm pushing for as many finishes as I can because I have quite a few uh, works in progress. I also love to do other crafting. So that's an update for this channel. I have decided, excuse me, that I will be extending the channel. It's not going to be just cross stitch. It'll probably be mostly cross stitch because that's what I mostly do. Um, but I want to start showing you, um, like progress in my diamond painting, uh, my crochet, knitting, I do painting. Um, I'm not a very good artist, so don't expect masterpieces from me if I do show you paintings. I follow a lot of YouTube tutorials, um, because I like how pieces look and composition and that, but I'm not very good at figuring that out for myself. Um, so I've gotten into resin, you know, so these kind of things, and you know what? I'm just like, if I can turn it, if I feel like it and I'm doing something and I think it's interesting and I'm going to, I want to turn a camera on, I will, and I will post it on this channel. Um, so you're going to see some changes in 2022 that way. That all being said, let's get into the whips and I'll show you what I got going. These are in no particular order right now, except for the previous mentioned ones. I will let you know what months I'll be stitching them in because I've got them figured out. Um, the First one, which I started earlier this year, I didn't write down exact dates, I just have years written down. But this one I believe was in April because it was a spring, I know it was a spring start. Um, and that was The Awakening by Jonathan Earl Bowser. This is a Heaven and Earth Designs. I am doing this on a 25 count, uh, two over one half stitch. Oops, I grabbed two. What happens when you pile them on top of one another? You grab two at once. This is where it ended up um, after, you know, the last, I guess it would probably be six or seven months. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the progress. These little half stitches are the only way that I can actually stitch on 25 count. Um, so, and I, and I like the coverage they give personally and they whip up really fast. Like you can get a lot done um, just with half stitching. And I find full stitching on 25 count, at least for me, my little arthritic nubblies, um, I just can't force the needle through and it turns into a rug. So, because I originally started this on full cross and I actually ripped uh, probably, I want to say like probably about like this section, like a, a, about an inch, inch and a half section, I actually ripped out and restarted on a because I on half stitch because I just I couldn't do it um okay 
Absinthe, this is another 25 count. Uh, this is a Lisa Parker piece, again by Heaven and Earth Designs. I started this last year uh, in 2020. I believe it was an October start. Might have been a September start, but I know I started it in the fall. And this is where I got with that one. Uh, this is a mini, so I know it's not as detailed as the other Heaven and Earth designs that I have are going to be. Um, but I really have enjoyed stitching on it. Again, this is half uh, stitch, tent stitch, um, two threads over one. Uh, then, oh yeah, they are in order. Okay, I tried to put these all in order beforehand because I know I didn't have video editing software figured out. So, um, this is a dimensions kit. Uh, I've owned it for years, <laughs> but I actually just started it in 2020. Um, and it didn't get a whole lot of love this year, but it did get some. And that is, is that going to show up? Uh, the white's not showing up very well, but that is uh, where we have gotten so far. It's um, kind of this fan area, and there's a bunch of this white off kind of off-white that I have put in, but it doesn't really, I don't know if I hold it up closer, can you see it? Uh, not really, because it's not going to focus. But yeah, so that's where that one ended up at the end of the year. Um, this is the one I've been stitching on for the most of December, um, and that is uh, Midnight Harp um, by Esmira. Charted by Pain-Free Designs. I absolutely love Esmira's work. I actually have a couple other charts of hers I've been eyeing up uh, that I'm probably going to end up buying this year. I don't know if I'll start this year, but I'll probably buy them. Uh, this is on, I believe, 14 count, Ada. Most of my stitches are going to be, unless it's a kit, are going to be on 14 count. Um, some are 16, some are 18. But... Uh, that usually is because that's what comes in the kit. <laughs> the 25 count, I just decided to uh, try that out this year and I found I liked it. So, um, so yeah, that's where I've gotten to on that one. So working through a lot of kind of this area, uh, moving over into the moon and hopefully soon I will be down in here. Um, yeah, I I love blues and purples and pinks. I um, they're my favorite colors, so I really enjoy stitching on this one. And I got probably I want to say, whoop, where's my finger? From here down, done during December, and then uh, some of this section in here done. So yeah, happy happy with how that's coming along. I really enjoy stitching on that one. This is my New Year's piece um, and will be worked on throughout January. And that is the Well of My Desire by Chris Ortega. I started this in I, my 31 days, days of Hay Challenge that I did in October, I believe it was. Uh, that was one of the Hades I was working on. And that is where we are starting off. Uh, for the new year. So the month of January, I will be all, all over this and hopefully we'll see some really good progress on it. This is another um, 25 count, two over one, tent stitch. Uh, what's next? All right, here's a dimensions kit. Um, I believe this is a Lena Liu piece. And I started this in 2020. It had no progress in 2021. I might have put like five stitches in it. I did not touch this. But you know what? I'm going to show it because it's a whip. <laughs> that is where it is starting off for 2021. I am working this in half. So I'm going to work this half of the pattern. And then I will work that half of the pattern. Um, and I am doing back stitching in that as I go. So that is where that has ended up, and maybe I'll actually touch it now in 2022 because it's one of my focus month stitch things that I'm going to try that maybe actually get some progress on them. Uh, this one I started in 2019. 
it's embarrassing, but I didn't touch it at all in 2020, and I've touched it quite a bit in 2021, and that is this, it's another Dimensions kit. I love Dimensions kits, I have a lot of them. Uh, come on, uh, this uh, beautiful kimono, and, oh, that's not the right side, there we go. And this is where we've gotten to. So the majority of what I filled in, uh, it's not, well, the yellow's kind of showing up. Uh, there's some yellow and a bunch of this blue, this blue and a bunch of this green. And I'm holding that upside down. Oh, my goodness. How embarrassing. That should be how it's actually to be held. Not the other way around. Um, yeah. So that's where that ended up in the end of the year. Uh, yeah. So this one is uh, my October stitching. It's my Halloween stitching uh, this month instead of just stitching it on how this year. This year, instead of just stitching it on Halloween, I will stitch it the whole month of October. Uh, and that is this beautiful kind of Victorian home. It just gave me kind of Halloween-y vibes. You know, you got your black cat. You got these beautiful, like, gothic sort of look. Um, here is what I did between uh, 2020 and 2021. Most of this was in 2021. I think in 2020 I had this window and then like done and then um, this window outlined. Um, but now I am working down in here and up on the top here. So And this one... I love the pattern. I hate this fabric so much. And it's so close to being finished. I just want to get it done and out of the way. But I I don't like this the Ada out of this, which is weird for dimensions. It's a dimensions petite. It's called Morning Lake. Um it is a I believe 16 count Ada. Um and that is where I am right now. Most of this was done in 2021. Uh, there was a little bit on the cabin, like the windows and the door that were done in 2020, I believe late 2020. Um, this is the toughest, scratchiest Ada I have ever dealt with. And I have done everything to try and soften it, which is why it is so little, but I'm still fighting with it. Um, but I love the pattern. I'm not giving up on it. It's just, hopefully we'll get done this year at some point. <laughs> <laughs> then my biggest focus of 2021 uh is or was um beloved by Adele Lorraine my pattern says Sessler that's because I bought this before the name change but the if you're looking for this on heaven and earth designs it's actually Adele Lorraine and I am really happy with the, what I got on this. I did not meet my goal of, um, what was my goal? 21,000 stitches. <laughs> it was what I was using for full coverage fanatics. I think I got 18 or, yeah, 18 and a half thousand roughly in. Um, there we go. <laughs> It's coming, and you can see the eyes. I was so excited to stitch the eyes. So, yeah, I am so happy with this one and where it ended up. So, um, I'm not sure exactly what month I'm going to get back to it with. Uh, this is a 14-count gray Ada, um, full cross, uh, three strands, actually, because I didn't like the coverage of two strands. And, yeah, so... That's my biggest, that's my biggest happy. I did not think I would even get that many stitches in, and I did. Okay, the next one, it was a Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I don't have a picture, um, but I will link it, uh, I will link Autumn Lane Stitchery's Etsy down below. I do believe this pattern is going to be released, uh, to purchase in full, um, I got my parts of the pattern as a, as a, the stitch along, but I do believe they have announced sometime in January that they're releasing it. It's called the Dark Queen of the Sea, and it's kind of a octopus lady with a with a trident uh, and fishies and stuff. It is an amazing pattern. Check out their Etsy. Keep an eye for it if you, especially if you like um, dark fairy tales like I do. 
and I'm I'm actually okay with showing this on on camera now because I know this the stitch along is over. Um, I didn't want any spoilers, so I didn't show it before. Uh, but here we go. And the only difference that I'm doing so far from the initial pattern is uh, I am beating the fish's eyes, and I will be adding more beading uh, to this than it calls for because I don't believe it. It does have some beads. Um, but I wanted more beading. I wanted more bling, so I'm adding it to my own. That's the wonderful thing with this pattern is it's very customizable. Um, highly recommend that you go check it out. It was an incredibly fun stitch along, and it's an incredibly beautiful pattern. And then, so this was started in 2020. This is Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Sampler. Uh, I don't think I touched this in 2021. I may have. Um, I don't recall. I'm pretty sure I have, but I don't remember what. But there you go. That's where it started. I am doing this in 3847, I believe is the color. It's a kind of very greenish teal looking color. I have super enjoyed this, uh, this, this pattern. Um, I just... I got sidetracked with other things because I was trying to meet challenges in that, which I talked about previously I'm not doing this year. So it kind of got put by the wayside and I didn't get as much stitching on it as I had really planned to initially. That changes this year because I would like to get good significant stitches. All right, Woo, we are, oh we're done, oh we're done. Okay, I only have one more whip. Um, so this one is a pattern by Stitching Mommy here on YouTube. Again, I will put her Etsy below. This is uh, the t temperature tree. I was doing this for 2020. Uh, and then I went into a stitching slump and I never and I didn't work on it. So even though I have a little piece of paper that t says what all of the uh, temperatures were daily, I actually haven't stitched them all in. I believe, what is this? This is... June, I think. If I'm counting that right, it should be June. I'm working on these branches up here. Um, we have very, very extreme temperatures where I live. So I kind of made my own chart based off of the chart Stitching Mommy um, has in her pattern for extreme. Because we are everywhere from minus 40 in the winter to plus 40 in the summer and I wanted more variegation and more variety, so I kind of made my own chart up. Um, and I am stitching this uh, strictly from scraps, uh, scrap uh, threads from other projects, or well, leftovers, I should say, not technically scraps, but leftover threads where I thought I had enough left of a scheme that I could get a small project out of it, and that is what that is. So, um, yeah, so that'll be... That'll be my focus in 2021, trying to catch up on that. I did buy her Temperature Butterflies pattern at Christmas because I fell in love with it. I don't know if I will use it for 2021 because I do have to play catch up. I might do that for 2022. I have no idea. Anyway, that is, that is it. That is where we are. That is the goals and the focus whips and everything uh, for stitchy plans for 2022. If you are still with me in this video, thank you for hanging around. Um, I know a few of you have subscribed. I have uh, seen that come through. So um, thank you for that. I really um, appreciate it. I, I don't do this as a job. I don't do this for uh, subscribers. I don't do this um, for sponsors or anything. I do this because it's fun and you know, uh, it just part of it uh, gets it out in the community um, of, you know, what I'm working on. So that people have taken the time out of their day and decided to subscribe and watch um, is is really touching. And I, I do appreciate that. So, yeah, um, I don't want to get too rambly, so I'm going to cut it off here. But uh, thank you, everyone, and uh, have a wonderful new year. And hey, if you have any 
uh, stitching plans yourself, uh, feel free, make comments below. I promise I don't bite. Um, I'd be excited to hear what you're working on. Um, any crafting, really. I enjoy crafting. I also have a book channel. It's not as active as this one, but uh, it is linked below. So if you like to see me fangirl over books, um, you can always pop over there too. Anyway, later y'all, and all the best wishes in 2022. Bye!